Good morning everyone, this is Samuel at Escape Trailer and today is a very special day. We are here with Alina and Craig at Cultus Lake. So um, they, have, they have agreed that we can uh, look at the trailer and ask them a couple of questions and we're very happy about that. Um, Craig, come on over here. Maybe first up, um, thank you very much for waxing the unit. It looks awesome. <laughs> Spent a couple of days last yes, weekend. It looks showroom ready as we would say. Uh, good job on that. Um, before we start with the trailer, I noticed you have a Tacoma. Yeah. So, how is that working in terms of towing? Do you, do you slow down quite a bit when you go uphill or...? You know, it tows pretty good. It is a, a smaller vehicle with a V6. Um, it, it tows pretty good on the highway. You can keep going at, you know, 110 kind of-ish and pretty comfortably. Uh, granted, you hit a hill and it, it does work pretty hard being a smaller vehicle. Um, and I guess the only downside really is the gas mileage is probably you know, about double what I usually do on the day to day. So it does drink a lot on a trip, but you know the, the plus side of that is when I'm not towing, it's a lot easier to drive around and you know, park in an apartment as well. Yeah. Do you store anything on top of the railings? Oh yeah, we did buy the, the racks. Um, we have a couple of kayaks that we put on top. Uh, we had them inside the, the, the truck for a little bit, but keeping them up on top is just a lot nicer uh, to be able to put things like the propane fire pits and any other stuff we have with us uh, in the back of the truck. You carry a ladder? Yeah. <laughs> we ended up somehow tossing a ladder in there because there's always a time where you want to get up and maybe brush off the awning before we leave or, yeah. or check something on the roof. So somehow we've ended up carrying way too much stuff with us. Nice. Awesome. Good. So this one here is a 19 foot. Yep. And um, you, you and your wife, you explained a little bit about your research. How long did it take you to decide on an escape? Well, really, it took uh, probably three to five years of yep. you know tent camping. So we went from uh, four-man tent with a Ford Focus to buying the Tacoma and getting a six-man tent. And really, our, our our campsite, as you can see, it kind of sprawls a little bit. Uh, yes. So we kept wanting to buy a trailer. So finally, we made the decision. We'd you know we'd spend a you know twenty grand and buy a trailer, and we looked around at some various stick builds, and you know we we just didn't see the quality, and we like to buy things that are good quality that are going to last a long time. So we ended up uh, stumbling upon Escape, and really got sold as soon as we saw it. And I think it was our first visit that we put the down payment uh, and, and went for it. Nice. So this is. Um a 2018, is that right? Yeah, 2018 we bought it in yeah. uh, November 2018. Okay, nice. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's have a look around. Maybe we'll have a quick swing across your campsite here. So you like barbecuing, I can tell. Yeah, we went for uh, the, the large stove, as you can see from, yeah. uh, from Costco. <laughs> nice. Uh, it really makes uh, cooking a lot easier having a nice big stove. Uh, yeah. But as you can see, again, the, uh, the campsite sprawl, everything gets big and heavy pretty quickly. So you mentioned you prefer um, boondocking, dry camping over campsites with um, Yeah, power. so we do do a lot of uh, BC Parks camping, which is has to be our favorite as well. as When you go to the States, a lot of time it's national parks as well, where there, there isn't any hookups. Yeah. Um, so I think there's only a couple of campgrounds, uh, BC Parks, that actually have hookups. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of it is, is boondocking. Um, I, it, I think our probably our favorite part about the trailer is the, uh, the solar panel on the roof. Um, you can go days and days and it just it, we seem to never run out now we don't have an inverter or, or use a lot of electricity but yeah. you know charging our phones and our speakers and stuff it's uh, it's never a concern power right. never runs out so what battery do you have oh we went for the dual six volts dual six volts okay yeah. nice awesome okay so let's have a let's have a look you have the storage box yeah I think um, the storage box is definitely a must to, uh, you know protect it from from rock chips the and whatnot. And it, it, storage. Now I'm excited, sorry to cut you off. You actually have this one here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not sure, it might even be you that pointed that out to us. Where we walk through the showroom and we explain customers the differences between that location for the shower and the other side. I yeah. usually say this is ideal for a kitchen setup because you want that area dry. So have a little something like that yeah. and then you can cross the water out and the other side would be great for the dog <laughs> to to wash him off right yeah. if you have two um, external showers so this is awesome this is we should zoom in a little bit on this Daryl so that's a great great setup so you use your exterior exterior shower to wash your dishes yeah yeah so it is just a, a, a flexible gooseneck from e-trailer and this is a ball valve which is just an in-stock item at Home Depot 
And really, we can leave the, the hot water on at all times and it's ready to go whenever you need it. And it doesn't leak and it's just always available. Very, very nice. And then, yeah, for boondocking especially, being able to do the dishes outside, uh, we don't fill up our gray water. I yeah. think we're on, we've been here for a week at this point and I think we're at about a third um, on the gray awesome. water tank. Very nice setup. You got the frameless windows, power awning, and then you put the setup here. Are these uh, aftermarket? Uh, so the leveling blocks, we went with the Anderson uh, leveling blocks. It's just much easier. Um, there's no setting up the Legos and, and you know find out it's a little bit off. These you just back up until it's level and you're, you're done. So one step leveling. Nice. Okay, let's have a look around. You did a good job on the waxing. <laughs> I aim to impress. Very nice. you have a little lock here when you go for day trips then yeah so the wheel lock really we store it in a storage yard because we do live in a condo um, so we're not with the trailer for long extended periods of time so we picked this up uh, I think it was uh, a couple hundred dollars but it gives a little bit of peace in mind um, for this trip we did leave the trailer uh, overnight alone as we we had some other things to deal with so it just gives you a little bit of peace of mind when it is long right nice and so you have the solar in the back here yep Okay. And then the window at the bathroom with the frosted. So it's a nice compact trailer. Yes. Right? Easy. Yeah. I would think it's really easy to tow. Yeah, with the two of, two of us and the dog, it's it's uh, it's big for us. But this is my first venture into towing an RV as well. So, yeah. You know, picking it up from Escape is my first time towing an RV. So we did go across the street and practice a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but the size of it, it's it's perfect. I can I can see around it nicely in the highway. Uh, get, it's easy to back in. It's it's just a, a nice little little trailer. And I see you don't have extension mirrors, so you're, you're okay with the size? It's a little more narrow than... It is a little bit narrower yeah. than, a, than a regular stick build, so I can see decently well out the sides. Now, probably should have extension mirrors, uh, but uh, I, I can see along the side pretty well. Okay. Would you mind if you have a look inside? Yeah, let's go in. Yeah. I'll let you go first. I'll take my shoes off. I noticed you have a little carpet down here. Tell me about that. Yeah, the carpet, uh, we actually got that after, uh, you know, it took a, a, a few weeks of camping before we bought that, but that's a must just to be able to get the, the dirt off your shoes before you hop in. Yeah. Um, then we found a mat here, um, you know, regular door mat, just to, to be able to take your shoes off and, and get more comfortable okay. inside. Now for you who have dogs, we recommend to put a mat there just so that the dog doesn't get its claws into those little holes. Um, there's various ways of doing it. We do have one product that you can pick up at Escape, but it doesn't have to be ours. As long as you have, if you have dogs, we, we would say put a mat there. So that, that's a good thing. Basically two functions, yep. safety for the dog and, and keeps the dirt out. Okay, then we've got the flooring. Tell us about that. So we wanted to go with a lighter color scheme. Uh, so we did pick, this is a, I believe a Penny Lane fabric. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, I, we really like the open light colors. It is yes. a little bit more difficult to keep something like this clean in a, in a camping setting. Right. Um, but a lot of the times we do end up with a runner down on the floor as well to, to protect it. So you went with the lighter scheme on the floor and I see also on the kitchen counter. So you're your Formica kitchen counter and... Uh, yeah, I believe this is a, a white twill that we went with. And it, again, just trying to brighten it up and make it as airy as possible. You know, with the, the 19 with so many windows in it, we really wanted to, you know, capitalize on the light and yes. make it as bright and airy as possible. So bright often feels bigger, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Um, beautiful. So up here, I see you have two max 
fans. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to go against the getting the air conditioning mainly because we camp a lot on, uh, without hookups. Yeah. Um, and, and really being up in BC, there's it, it doesn't get that hot. It's manageable. Yeah. We find. Uh, so yeah, we did end up with two max fans just to get a little bit more circulation in here. Right. Uh, we found that you know even going into you know Wyoming in the summer, we've we've managed quite well. And it gives you a bit more headroom because the, the air conditioning would drop down a little bit. Exactly. There yeah. is, there's no worry about hitting your head. There's no yeah. crouching in this trailer at all. And I, I think I'm about six feet. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, I see something else here. What's that? Yeah, so we, we went for, we, we had, had to have some hooks to be able to hang jackets and whatnot. I, I know a lot of people go for the umbra hooks with yeah. the, the kind of mate or the, the oak that matches. However, you know, feeling around in here, there is backing across this area. Yes. Um, so it, it was easy enough just to find some hooks that we thought looked really nice and screw them right in. And they're, they are extremely uh, sturdy. Yeah. And on that note, this, this we have backing right here. Yeah. Here, oh, it's there's hollow. nothing, yeah. We could reinforce that wall. If we do a custom build, we know that you want that wall reinforced, we can uh, we can put um, a backing in here and then we have a few more options on, on the locations. But that's so that's for the dog, that's for you. <laughs> exactly. That's very good. Nice, like it. Okay. Uh, storage wise, how, how does it handle for you? You know, coming from you know tent camping, there's ample storage. I still think we're trying to figure out what to do with all the space. So I yeah. think we have uh, you know probably half the stuff in the camper we don't need. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as storage, we have found some interesting ideas on you know using the form and, and Facebook. Yeah. Uh, for instance, you know under the sink to make use better use of the the space, we've put uh, an alpha shelf with a slider underneath just so we don't have to, you know, bend down and reach in to get things. So when I want to make coffee in the morning, it's, you know, easy enough to grab the, grab the supplies. Nice. Um, similarly on, on the wardrobe, um, you know, all of our clothes are just full, folded away. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing's hanging up. So we did go for the, um, the, the full alpha shelf um, drawer system. So we can just, you know, load up all of our food um, in the drawers. And then we just built a shelf on top with a lip uh, just for the dry goods and buns and chips and whatnot so it doesn't fall out. And so this one you built all yourself? Yeah, the Alpha Shelf is a unit that you can you can just buy yeah. um, with all the supplies. Um, but the, the shelf on top of it, um, what we did is we bought a top for the Alpha Shelf and just yeah. cut it to the right size and, and put it in there so it was finished nicely. Now and I then the Alpha Shelf is screwed into the bottom um, uh, where we did have to put some backing in under the drawer just to make sure it was uh, it was secure and wasn't going to move around. So some customers will see this and will ask us where you bought this Alpha Shelf. <laughs> yeah, that would be the container store in the U.S. Okay. So we did have it shipped to the U.S. and went and picked it up and brought it up. Nice. Uh, but they do have good prices and there's 30% to sale off the uh, majority of the time. And it fits nicely in. Awesome. It does. Well, that's, that's very, very nice to see. Um, is there anything else you would like to share? Any maybe feedback, what we can do better? Um, at uh, escape? I, I think one good thing is so when we got the custom Formica, it came with extra. So we were mm -hmm. able to do the front of the fridge with the extra Formica that we bought. Um, so that, again, lightens the area up a little bit more, having some of the, more of the light color and makes it a little bit more cohesive with the design. Um, oh, another good good idea that we did um, I think it's from Ron and BC on the on the forum is we went for the uh, IKEA lawn set um, uh, bed frame so we've installed the IKEA bed frame underneath uh, just to give it a little bit more cushion and I think you can uh, you can ask Alina outside I think this is one of our, our favorite modifications so far um, not that the bed was uncomfortable before but putting that extra spring on there it's just like sleeping at home beautiful well done. So, how many more days of vacation for you? Well, uh, after a week here, I think we're back to work for a couple of weeks. Then we're off to the Okanagan for a two-week camping trip at Haynes Point in Okanagan South. Yeah. Um, and then we, I guess we have another trip heading out to the Merritt area as well as Birkenhead. Beautiful. So, still a lot of camping to be had this year. Yeah. I love to see that you're using the Escape and thank you so much for the tour. Well, thanks for coming all the way out here. Well done. Thank you.